Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So today we are back with another favourites video. I haven't done a favourites since... Has it got to be October? Is that my last favourites or November? I know I didn't do one for Christmas because so much was happening. Now we've got some skincare, makeup, we've got lots of makeup. We've got a bit of bath stuff. Quite a few to get through. There's not a lot, but I've, I've picked up some stuff that I've enjoyed over the month and I thought... Our best sharing with you. So if you love these type of videos and you love seeing what people have in their favourites, then make sure you carry on watching, hit subscribe, and yeah, let's go. So if you're just wondering, I've just done this eye look. I was gonna do a look with an eyeshadow palette, it's in my favourites, but I needed to do this look because someone requested it. So I've created this eye look using the Aristocats palette. Um, I thought it was quite fitting as Valentine's is around the corner. But anyway, that's not in my favourites because I've already talked about that a lot last year. But a palette that I've been liking a lot. Now, you haven't seen any videos on it, I don't think yet. But honestly to God, I've been using it so much off camera. And it's the XX A Revolution XX Misty palette. Um, I didn't know I was going to use this a lot until I got it. I have filmed one video. I'm still in the process of editing it. I just haven't got around to it yet. But I will be doing more looks with it like show you more looks of what I've been doing with it. Um, but yeah, it's in this gorgeous packaging. Now this is like my proper, like full on first time eyeshadow brought from Excess Revolution. I have brought a, a shimmer palette, but this has got mattes in and everything. I'm obsessed with this packaging. Like this just, this just speaks summer to me. Um, the packaging does. I love the tag, I love the holographic, I love the different colours going on. And this is what we've got here. I freaking love this because it's not just got colour in there, we've got a lot of neutrals. And I myself love myself some neutrals. I just think it's a good everyday palette, I'd say. And if you want to like spice things up in your neutral looks, you've got a colourful side, which I do like. Yeah, I've been doing some funky looks of this. It's such a fun palette, like I've, I've had so much enjoyment off the camera using this palette. There is some shades in here that you do need to like prop it. Is that the post? Oh, I've got some presents. <laughs> no. I've ordered some stuff, presents to myself, treat yourself. There is some shades in here that do lack pigment, but they do work. You just gotta pile it on. <laughs> but I've been enjoying using this blue, and I've been enjoying using the blue with the purple. That seems to blend nice together. I love these two shimmers. I absolutely love this shimmer and this shimmer in the corner. I've been liking doing winged eyeshadow looks with the smoky shades. And I've got a beauty bay parcel. But yeah, it's a really nice all round palette and if you haven't tried Exercise Revolution, maybe you should. But then again, this palette is priced at £20. The reason why I did buy this and I didn't miss the opportunity because Beauty Bay did make a glitch on the website. They priced it at £8 by accident and that's why I went ahead and buy it. If it was £20, I don't know if I could justify buying it at full price. Definitely get it if it's in the sale, because I don't think it is worth £20, but definitely worth £8 for what I paid. If you got this for £8, well done. Okay, I am very surprised at myself with this um, favourite, but I've mentioned the Mulan powder. So this is the I Heart Revolution Mulan powder. I prefer this powder over the Pretty Little Thing powder, what I tried the other day. I actually didn't think I was going to like this because in my first impressions video, I wasn't wowed. I, I'm still not wowed by it, but I've been picking it up a lot. And this is the type of video of products that I've been picking up over and over again. I just somehow kept picking this up. I wouldn't say it's got smoothing properties. I don't, I feel like it doesn't smooth out fine lines or anything, but I do give it that it does set my makeup. Like it does proper set it. So yeah i like this powder okay next up from the brand i heart revolution i've picked up pistachio cream mini eyeshadow palette now last year i was using the hazelnut cream a lot but coming into 2022 i've been picking this up more often so it's a greenish palette i wouldn't say it's all green but i've been really liking this off mustardy green recently i just i just think it looks really nice on my eye colour. Um, yeah, these two shimmers here in the inner corner, this shimmer here makes a fabulous brow bone highlighter. I've been really liking this green as well. I really like the matte brown. Um, yeah, I've done two looks with this palette, so if you want to see it, go check it out on my YouTube. Don't have a go at me, I'm putting these products in very, very quickly since I tried them, but I was really wowed by them, and I have been picking them up again this week um so it's the some some things from the pretty little thing 
makeup range. So I'm gonna go over it really quickly because I've done an in-depth video trying that makeup. I'm gonna mention this makeup setting spray. It's illuminating makeup setting spray. Oh my god, this this is probably the best setting spray that I've got in part with the unicorn I Heart Revolution Unicorn Mist um spray. Really like this. I just love how it completes the makeup, it just draws everything in, pulls everything in, I mean and it just adds a lovely glow like it just makes your highlight pop like this 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 is not popping about this i wouldn't say i really like it if you have to get anything from the pretty little thing range the makeup they brought out definitely get the mister it's 10 pounds I, I would definitely repurchase this okay i'm just gonna mention some of their makeup line altogether. i've got the highlighter i really enjoy this highlighter i've got it on today it's in the shade champagne it is stunning it's Wait, look at that. Okay, same pretty little thing. This foundation, I'm very surprised at this. It works with the primer that I'm using. So, in my first impressions, I didn't really like it, but I've been using it with their e.l.f. Uh, I Heart Revolution Primer, and I've been really enjoying it. It's left a nice finish. It's not too dewy. It's not, it's, I'd say it's in between of, I wouldn't say matte, but it's not over dewy, and I don't like too dewy products on my face, especially when I've got texture on my cheeks. This is the right amount of doingness and I appreciate it and would I repurchase it? I don't know because I still like to try new foundations but if I'm not bothered about trying new foundations all the time, yeah, I probably would repurchase it. And Pretty Little Thing do do lip kits. I've got it in the shade brown. So that is what this um, brown lip kit shade looks like. Yeah, I really like this. Creamy formula, not matte, which is great for me at the minute because I literally can't put matte formula on my lips right now because of the dry. Okay, another lip. I've gone back to the I Heart Revolution Unicorn, is it, what is this, Unicorn Heart Glow? This is the Adventure Lip Balm. This is so cute. If you want a clean, fresh look, go for this. I think it's like five, five pound for this or three pound, I can't remember. This came out last year and it's so pretty. I'm definitely gonna uh, wear this more spring summertime it just adds something you don't need a lip lining with this just pat it on with your finger if you want it you just look fresh i like that okay i've got some eyeliners here so these are definitely the hero products these cost at four pound in the sale at the minute these are the makeup revolution renaissance flick eyeliner pens these are my go-to's i've got the black shade and the brown shade they're my they're my babies right now. <laughs> These ones right here, absolutely love them. I am wearing the black one today. <sighs> I have no issues with it. Like, I just absolutely love it. I will continue to use these because they're, they're my favorites, I, yeah. And then along with that, I've got the XX of Revolution Eye, black eye pencil. Yeah, I really like this actually. Um, I, I had to get one because I couldn't get the Ciarte Wonder Wand eye pencil it's always out of stock so i needed to find someone to replace it in the meantime and yeah i've been liking it it's not as pigmented as the crt one but it'll do for now okay two lippies that i got for christmas off my boy did i just say boy okay these are the milani lipsticks and yeah these are so yummy not literally but they look so gorgeous so i've got in the shade tease and pleasure the brown one is tease which is gorgeous. And this one is Pleasure, perfect for Valentine's. Yeah, really like these. They feel really good in the packaging, like them. Okay, so my camera, just, my camera just died and I can't remember what I was finishing on. I think I was talking about the CeraVe moisturizing cream. So we've got a skincare products. This is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I use this daily. This is my second bottle. I should really purchase the bigger bottle because I, Listen, I had little funds at a time. I could only afford this amount. So yeah, this has been perfect for the treatment I'm on at the minute. So I'm on Accutane at the minute and I'm literally dry everywhere. It's pretty nasty. I still haven't found the lip product for my lips yet because my lips are constantly chapped. Um, so I'm still yet to find that, but this has been great. I've been using it on my body and my face and yeah, I just can't go without it. So another thing that I've been loving is the Snow Fairy Lush Shower Gel. Now this is a big hit. This is like one of their best sellers. Absolutely love this. Unfortunately, you can only get it around Christmas time, I think. If you love sweet candy things, this is your go-to. 
absolutely love the colour and love how it makes my bath look. It's, um, it's got like a nice pink glitter to it. I really need to nurture this and not use it so much because I don't know if this is going to last me till Christmas. Well, I want to use it, so yeah. Okay, another thing is perfume. Now, can you believe I got this for Christmas? This is the Ariana Grande Cloud. I got it for Christmas and I used it up already. There's literally nothing in it. It is empty. <laughs> but I want to keep the packaging because it looks cute on display. So it's one of those things I don't want to get rid because it looks cute. So yeah, that is everything to my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I did also get a package, but I opened it whilst I wasn't recording. But I did get the, when the postman came, I got a Beauty Bay package and this is the new lipstick that I brought. So someone requested me to do like a gothic, a grungy makeup look. I've never done that on my channel before. And I thought, you know, I've got to get a black lipstick. So this is the Jeffree Star Velvet Trap lipstick. I've never tried any of his bullet lipstick formulas and I've gone for the blackest of the black. This is in the shade, this is in the shade, shade Pure Hell. But oh my God, just look at that. His packaging is always on point. Yeah, I swatched it on camera whilst I realized I wasn't recording. But just look at that, the detail he goes into his makeup products is just phenomenal. Um, it's so mesmerizing. Really love his detail to packaging and that is the black and I'll be wearing that in one of my videos it'll be fun I love experimenting so yeah okay I almost forgot but I have to mention this this is the Mulan Disney lip top it this absolutely transformed your lips like this is from I Heart Revolution love this this is definitely the one i'm going to repurchase i think i prefer this over the tiana's lip gloss which i am a huge fan this tops it up this tops it up i really like this i hope they don't discontinue it because i really want you to get another one of these so nice it just it looks so good with every single lipstick that i've tried on so good but yeah that wraps up my video today i hope you enjoyed it i feel like i've got some really good bits in here so definitely the highlights are probably that Mulan lip topper, the Pretty Little Thing Mister, and the Makeup Revolution Renaissance flick eyeliner pen, uh, penny things. Um, they're definitely the highlights, definitely the ones I really want to repurchase. Do let me know if I've mentioned any of your favourites today. Do you use these products? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, do give it a big thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And if you want to see more monthly favourites, and hit subscribe button down below. But yeah, other than that, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.